Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Scott with Shop Skills Garage. Um, wanted to bring you a quick video. I ran into an issue last week where my garage door out here in the shop decided it no longer wanted to function. <clears throat> It'd move a couple inches and come back up. It'd move three feet, come back up. It might go all the way down <clears throat> and then come back up. But um, So I went and got a new garage door opener, and the app that comes with it, the MyQ app um, apparently does not integrate with Alexa or Google. Now, my old garage door didn't either. I mean, it, it wasn't even a smart opener, but I was using a device called a Miros, M-E-R-O-S-S, -S, the little MSG-100. I'll show you what it looks like. That little guy right there, uh, basically it just has a couple of contacts that shorts out like your like you're pushing the button but uh, apparently all these new garage door openers doesn't just have a you know a, a momentary contact button on them anymore they all have these smart smart openers and uh, yeah I lost automated control of my garage door so I'm going to show you how to fix that like I said that where's it at so, do, do, do. that Miro's that's up there um, I'm going to sacrifice one of my remotes I'm going to sacrifice one of my remotes and this button right here on the back side those two contacts you see uh, I'm just going to solder a couple of leads onto that let them hang out the back of the remote and then that way whenever I tell the Miros MSG 100 to open or shut my door is basically me pushing the garage door button. So uh, I'll get that soldered on and then show you how it works. All right, I got those two leads soldered on. And as you can see, if I come up here, where'd it go? And just touch the two together. if I can get them to touch together. There goes the door. It stopped. So, now all I need to do is just drill me a little hole through the case, let the wire go through. Take it up there, wire nut those two together, and I will have my old button along with my Miros. And I actually have another garage door button like that that is hardwired from an old telephone line running all the way over into the house. So that'll get all my old buttons still working again and my home automation. So, uh, all right, and there you have it. Uh, Got it wired in. I just hung the remote up there on the power cable, wire nutted in the uh, the Miros or Maris, however you want to pronounce it. You'll notice that's the new smart control pad that operates the door. Put the old momentary contact, which also works. And not, but now, since this has no Alexa integration, it now does. Alexa, close left shop door. Well, quick, simple. If you needed to reintegrate your Chamberlain garage doors that use the... Um, my Q app that does not have Alexa integration or Google. Um, you can pick you up one of these Miro's MSG 100s. They're like 25 bucks off of Amazon. Um, sacrifice a remote. I actually found a two pack of those remotes on Amazon for $11. So, you know, it's really not that much of a sacrifice. Hey, you can get a brand, two brand new remotes for the cost of the battery to replace one. So, um, hope that helps somebody out. And uh, if you liked it, 
you know, hit the uh, the like and the subscribe. I actually never knew how much or how important those two things really were. But uh, y'all have a happy new year.